Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, it is me, it is the OG, and we are here for chapter uh, 18 on programming in basics. This is chapter 18. It is called Finding the Right Pages. And I just thought that maybe I should probably be doing this on a real cocoa. Not that I should, but why not? So why not do this on a real Coco 3? So um, I tried copying the virtual floppy disk over from VCC to my Coco SDC and I'm getting some type of error where it can't read it and I think the disk has now magically gotten bigger than the actual disk format because I think the disk format is something like 158k and this file is now something like 200k so I guess VCC will allow me to continue to add things to a floppy disk and possibly ignore the space limitations of the floppy disk so um, other than that, I am going to go ahead and try to do this now. I'm going to try to do it on a real Cocoa, but since I don't have my original program saved, I'm going to have to type it over again. But, you know, if we're doing retro programming and retro computing, let's do it on the real computer and let's make the struggle a lot more real. Um, for those of you who are maybe playing along at home, I'm not sure what you've actually been doing it on. If you've even been doing it and doing the programming, or if you're just watching out of curiosity, I don't know. But if anybody was programming... Obviously, you've probably already realized that you could program this on whatever you want. You can program it. Right now, we're doing everything in extended color basic. So you can color computer one or two with extended color basic and like 16K of memory is all you need to run these. Um, so we're going to do chapter 18, finding the right pages. So we just finished chapter 17 where we talked about the P mode command. Chapter 17 did talk about how different P modes have different number of pages. And so now we're going to see an example of how these pages work. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So in writing this book, we've stored chapters on pages. Some chapters require more pages. Some chapters require less. In the same sense, Color Basic stores graphic screens, 1,536 byte blocks into graphics memory or pages. Uh, some screens require more pages, some screens require less. Table 18-1 shows you how many pages it takes to draw a screen in each mode. As you can see, a screen drawn in a higher resolution mode, which offers higher resolution or more colors, consumes more memory pages than a screen drawn in a lower mode. So. Um, if we have a mode 4 screen, it requires, meaning P mode 4, P mode 4 requires 4 pages of um, memory. P mode 3 requires 4 pages. P mode 2 requires 2 pages. P mode 1 requires 2 pages, but P mode 0, which is the lowest resolution in the black and white um, mode, only requires 1 page of memory. So let's see what happens if we now store our famous lines program on different pages. So the first thing I have to do is I have to retype in this lines program. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. 5 P mode 1 comma 1. I'm not going to be typing anywhere nearly as quickly on this Coco keyboard. 10 PCLS. PCLS. Okay. 20 screen 1 comma 1. Third uh, 25. 25 line 0 comma 0 through 255 comma 191 oops I got to put parentheses around this crap through 255 comma 191 comma p set okay line 30 is that's that's going from the corner to the corner uh, line 30 uh, line 30 is line uh, 0 comma 191 through 255 comma 0 which is going in the opposite direction comma p set okay line 40 is go to 40 let's save this as lines on my new floppy Okay, and there we go. So now when I run it, here is the program. All right, so there's my lines program in a P mode one, which is a low resolution mode, and you can see the X and you can see the pixels are very big. And now I can press the actual break key. Okay, now it says focus on P mode. As you know, the first P mode parameter tells the computer to start in P mode one screen. 
Uh, and as table 18-1 tells you, p-mode 1 screen requires two pages of memory. The second parameter tells the computer to start on um, page 1. So, p uh, so well, let's go back and look at that. Uh, p-mode 1, comma 1. So p-mode 1, the first one tells you the mode. The second one tells you the page. Yes, yeah, so it tells you to start on page 1. Now, it says here, to put the two page line screen together on page three and four type in uh, p mode one comma three so for line five we're going to type in p mode one comma three so instead of putting it on page one we're putting it on page three run the program it shows the same screen but the screen is on entirely different pages so when I run the program okay looks exactly the same but it's saying it's on different pages okay that's fascinating so we started off on p mode 1 comma 1 which is page 1 and um, then we and we're, and we're saying that p mode 1 requires two pages of memory um, and then we go to page 3 so I'm not sure if this is absolute or relative numbering on how we're changing these things here it says, how about storing two screens, one on page one and one on page two, and another on page three and on page four? Holy freaking crap. All right, why? how about storing two screens, one on pages one and two, and one on pages three and four? Change line five and delete line 20, add lines 27 and times 28. You're killing me here. All right, what do you want me to do here? It says, change line five. Line five is going to go back and say, P mode one comma one all right then it says uh, line 10 says PCLS um, delete line 20 line 20 says screen one comma one so we're gonna delete line 20 so line 5 changes the P mode line 10 still says PCLS now um, line 25 is still drawing one of those lines which is stored on pages 1 and 2 now line 27 is going to switch the P mode to 1 comma 3 which goes to page 3 line 28 is going to do a PCLS and then line 30 is going to draw the line and line 40 is going to go to itself but the, but the problem with this right now is the screen command is not here. When I list this out, um, when I list this program out, so uh, 10 PCLS, we're not setting, uh, line 5 sets the P mode, line 10 does a PCLS, line 25 draws a line on the first page, line 27 switches to page 3. Line 28 clears that screen. Line 30 draws a line on the other page, and line 40 goes to itself. But nowhere in here have we actually activated the screen command to make that graphic screen visible. So when I run this, it's just going to itself. It has actually drawn two different images on two different pages, but it has not displayed either one of these pages because the screen command is not running. Okay. So we did that. We did that. It says the first part of your program starts on mode one. Um, and it clears this screen and puts a line in it. The next part of the program starts on mode 1 but switches to page 3 and 4. It clears this screen and puts a line on it but it says run the program and you won't see other screen because there's no screen statement. So add 35 screen 1 comma 1. Okay. Let's break the program. Let's list it. Let's add line 35 screen 1 comma 1. But at this point, I think we're only going to see um, the one of the screens, right? So when I run this, I only see the one line because the other line is on a different page. When you activate the screen command, you're showing one of the screens, but you're only going to see the most recent screen. So it says when Color Basic displays the screen, it uses the most recent P mode instruction to tell it what the current graphic screen is. In this case, the most recent P mode is P mode 1, 3. Tells Color Basic that the current graphic screen is in mode 1 on screen pages 3 and 4. Insert another P mode line just before the screen command in Color Basic um, displays a mode 1 screen. So on line 32, we need to do P mode 1, 1. So let's do this. Um, 
So line 30 draws the second line. Let's, let's remember where that was. So right now on the second page, we have the line that goes from bottom, bottom left to top right. Okay, now when we list this out again, it says add line 32, type in P mode 1 comma 1. So now when we run it, we actually see the other one from top left to bottom right. So each line is on a different page and you can switch to the page and then activate the screen command to push that page to what the active page that we see. Um, now it says, add, just for kicks, have Color Basic display a mode two screen that starts on page two and guess what? You'll see, change line 32 to P mode two comma two. Okay, let's do that. Line 32, P mode one comma two. Uh, what it, let me just make sure I'm reading this correctly. When, uh, uh, just for kicks, uh, do mode two. Uh, make it say P mode. No, it's it's making uh, okay. Just for kicks, have color basic display a mode two screen that starts on page two. And guess what you'll see? Change line 32 to say P mode two comma two. Since mode two requires two pages, you'll see what's on page two and three. And since this is mode two you'll see the screen in two colors with medium resolution. So line 32, it says do page P mode two comma two. All right, let's run it again. And ooh, that is weird. Um, we are seeing, I don't know what we're seeing. We're seeing half of the X, that is weird. So by changing to P mode two, we are seeing um, we are seeing a different page of memory at a different resolution. It's black and white. And so now it is, um, it's, uh, I don't know what the heck it is. I'm seeing part of one page and part of another page, but I'm really confused on where that is in the grand scheme of, of pages. Okay. But we're now going to learn how to flip screens. Um, Flipping screens. As you know, animators make cartoons by drawing many still pictures and then flipping through them. So here's the moment you've been waiting for. This program flips screens. Okay, let's list through it here and let's just try to match what's in the book. Okay, line five is P mode one comma one. Line 10 is PCLS. Line 25 is um, line zero comma zero through two five five comma one ninety one kind of P set, and what it's saying here is that that is storing information on pages one and two. Okay, now on line twenty seven, we go to P mode one comma three, clear that screen, draw another line that is now storing things on pages three and four. Um, line thirty two switches back to P mode. Well, I got to change that now. I gotta go back to 32 and say P mode one comma one. So line 32 changes things to P mode one comma one um, and does a screen one comma one and then um, does that. Now we need to add a new line. So before it used to say 40 go to 40. So right now after we go to 35 and we display that screen, um, we are going to add, I'm assuming that's a 30, well, it, it was changing that to a 34 screen one comma one. So we'll just type in 34 screen one comma one, and then we'll do a 35 for I equals one to 200. Next, I, that's going to put in a pause there. That displays this page and it pauses. Now let me list this out some more. Now we go down to line now 38. 38 is going to say P mode 1 comma 3. That switches to page 3 and 4. Line 40 is now going to say screen uh, Coco keyboard sucks. <laughs> Line 40, 
green. This may be the first and last time I used the Coco 3 keyboard at Socks. Uh, line 42 says for I equals 1 to 200 colon next I. And then line 44 says go to go to 32 and I don't have the ability now to um, show my mouse hovering over the text code so that might be another reason to go back to VCC where I can mouse point and highlight uh, a certain part on the screen I can't do that because this is a direct live catcher from my uh, real Coco I can't mouse point on it um, so here's the program and it's small enough to fit on screen so line 5 says P mode 1 comma 1 that sets it into a um, P mode 1 is a four color low resolution mode line 10 says PCLS clears the screen line 25 draws one line on that screen line 27 switches to P mode 1 comma 3 which is the next two pages PCLS clears that one draws the other line line 32 then switches back to P mode 1 comma 1 which is page 1 and then activates the screen command so we can see page one and then it pauses for the count of 200. Line 38 then goes to P mode one comma three which is the second page. Um, then we do a screen, is it screen one comma three? Yeah, screen one comma three. Is that the right command? Okay. Screen one comma three because that's that mode then. And that's kind of strange. Okay, screen one comma three then switches to graphics um, screen 3 pauses for the count of 200 and then 44 goes back to 32 where it just keeps switching to the different pages and activating the screen so what we should see is an alternation of the two lines here as it's flipping through pages boom 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 right so that is basic animation but it's actually flipping between two pages so these pages could be completely filled with graphics um, and then you can switch between pages rather quickly and show something else. And so in a lower resolution mode, you can get somewhere between four and eight pages of, um, of images. And then you can quickly switch between those pages. So that's kind of cool, right? And so this is now illustrating the concept of um, using P mode uh, mode comma page. And so the mode sets the resolution, the page number sets the page. Now, um, it looks like it is an absolute numbering system instead of a relative numbering system. Like I would think if you had four pages in your mode, you could just say P mode, you know, like P mode four has two pages. So you could do P mode four comma one, P mode four comma two. But P mode three also has two pages. And then we get into P mode two. P mode two has four pages. But they're saying that each page is really two pages. So page one starts on the first screen. It's only half the screen. Page two is the bottom half of the screen. Page three is the top of the next screen. Page four is the bottom of that screen. So it's like every every odd number begins a new screen. So uh, P mode one comma one is the first page. One comma three would be the second page. One kind of five would be the third page and seven would be the fourth page, as, as I think is that's how that's going. And then when it comes to P mode zero, which is the black and white page, there's actually eight individual pages. So you could do page number one through eight. Um, and it even says here now, it says adding pages. It says you have a maximum of eight pages of graphics memory, pages one through eight. However, when you first start up Color Basic, you only see half that amount, pages one through four. And for example, um, make this change to the line program and then run lines. So if I make this change to the line program and I list it, and so it says on line five, change it to P mode one comma four. So if I go to line five and I just type in P mode, if I can find the right keys, one comma four. Um, and now when I run it, I'm getting a function call error in five. It says run lines and you'll get an FC error. You're asking Color Basic to use pages four, four through five. However, page five is not available. To remedy this problem, insert line four and now you'll have all eight pages. So line four, I need to say P clear eight. That clears enough memory for all eight pages. And it basically says, I am now gonna take this memory away from basic 
for your program and I'm going to reserve it for graphics pages and so now I've just eaten up 12k of your memory for 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 graphics now when I run the program again now I'm seeing it and it's on a different page um, okay interesting 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 so it says here that um, P clear lets you reserve from one to eight pages of memory. If you P clear, if you use P clear, um, it needs to be your program's first or second statement after clear. If you use clear, P clear space pages reserves pages in graphics memory. Pages is the amount of pages, the amount of graphics memory to reserve from zero through eight. On startup, your computer reserves four pages. You can use P clear to reserve more or fewer pages. You may wonder why we don't use P clear 8 all the time. The reason? P clear 8 decreases program memory. Sometimes we need more program memory. Other times you need more graphics memory. P clear sets the balance. And on the sidebar here it says if you ever have a conflict between program memory requirements and video memory requirements, you'll get a question mark OM error meaning out of memory so if you're trying to do things and you've eaten up all the memory for your program because you've reserved too much graphics memory and you don't have enough memory left for the program itself to run you will get an OM memory error which means out of memory alright guys I'm gonna take a quick pause for the cause here for just a moment I will be back but we've got a few more things to do here in just a minute so don't go anywhere we got more basic programming to do see you in a few